white woman called police for a Nigerian man because of this silly mistake. If you know you are living and working in abroad, make sure you sit down to listen to this video. Share this video because here we are creating educational, enlightened program that will educate, inform people so that they will avoid certain mistakes like this, our brother now. It is God that saved him. If not, he for day inside Kri Kri for doing well, what he did, no good, sure, yeah? but we gonna learn. Some mistake we would they do for Africa, we think it's nothing here in the Western world. Everything counts and you are responsible for any nonsense action or step or offense you committed. Now, what happens to this, our brother? I will bring him to narrate his experience so that I know a lot of you do this mistake, but you don't see it as anything. That is why... I am bringing this to your attention. This, our brother, would have been in Krikri, two of them. In, in fact, it's just God that saved them. So this, our brother, finished work. He was rushing to, you know, catch up with his train. So he rushed inside the dressing room, you know, in a company. They have dressing room where you come, you change before you go to work. And when you finish, you go back there to dress up. So he enters the room. There is a male part and a female room. So he entered his room, you know, in a hurry. He forgot to close the door. He started, you know, undressing to uh, make sure he catch up the uh, trail. So white or you bought woman now, nah, you know, say they know the toilet nonsense and they know the reason way the way with the reason. So as she wanted to, you know, pass to go to their own side to change her own, she now see our brother don't remove her in his trouser now. Now boss has went in weird. So as she passed, she can't see the door they open. She can't see our brother. Ah, now so this woman, Piakam, ran out. As she ran out, she go call a Kalebe. She go call police people. Say, come oh, there is a man here. Or the man want to grab me. Or the man want to rape me. Or. So, you know, say anything concerning with rape. And especially if you're a woman, once you call the police, say, person won't do you this thing. They know they lie like they can play. If you don't know, no, I'm not. Police fee enter your house under a circle once they hear story about this. Now, so before a clever come, ta -ra, ta -ra, ta -ra. so our brother self no even know waiting they happen. He see, he say he see the woman when the woman pass, but he no know waiting they happen. In mind, they where he won't go catch the train. So as he don't dress finish, he too won't go and take waiting the police people they do for their company. As they come, you got the hear say they won't carry him. You can't say waiting happen, waiting they happen now. They can't they explain to him. The woman say the lock way he get be say the woman talk the truth. The woman no talk say you got the touch him or do something like this. She just explained how she saw the man and the manager was like, Why did you not? Tell anybody is that enough reason? Since you said you said he did not do anything to you, why did you go and call police? Why didn't you even tell anybody? So now, so this our brother <laughs> take go free now. So a kelebe no take carry him. But if this woman come like say, and one thing I like about the Western world, be say any offices, any official place they get camera. He get another of our brother where the follow people where they work with set them up with uh, expensive jewelry. But the only thing we serve and be say camera they dear. He said there is no camera there. Now so they for carry our brother go quickly. In the comment of this video, a lot of people they say na racism. This is not a racism. It's just silly like I used from the beginning. Wherever you are, make sure say you are doing things in order. Do things in order. Yes, he wanted to rush to go and catch his train. What prevents him from covering the uh, or closing the door? So let's learn how to do things properly so that we don't get into trouble. This one have nothing to do with racism or something like that. The, the, the lady was afraid. You know, you come in, you see a man in that condition. You don't know what will happen, especially what is going on in the world today. So I would like you to hear from our brother. And when you finish listening, 
I want you to share your thoughts, your idea. Do you think this is a racism or do you think that the uh, Nigerian man did not do what he should have done or what he's supposed to do? But let us do it constructively. My brother, Oya, come and tell us what happened and how it happened. Thank you. I'll be here. We'll listen together. So something happened uh, today where I work. An Oibo woman called police on me because of this very silly reason. Now listen, we finished work, so I was rushing, I was already rushing to go and change and meet up with the train because the train was about to leave in five minutes, right? So immediately I entered our dressing room. I didn't even bother bother to close the door because I was I was hurrying up. So and the, our dressing room is connected to the to the female dressing room because it has one entrance. Then when you enter the door, you will see our dressing room first, then the uh, the female own. So I didn't, I didn't even bother to close the, the door, so I left the door open. So I was changing. So this lady also was uh, also rushing to go and uh, meet up the train. So she entered inside. When she entered the door, she saw me changing. I was or I, I have already removed my trousers. So I was wearing already both sides. So when she saw me, she ran out. You get it? So when she ran out, I, I saw her, but I didn't even concentrate on what she was doing. So she went. I didn't know that this woman went out to call police. <laughs> so she went out to call police, and uh, this happened. That was when I know that uh, the police of this of this country can 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 walk in one minute. I like. Bia, bia, bia. I was hearing one, 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 one. Police, our our, our office, in front of our office, police, police don't come there. So our director came out and was like, "What happened?" So the lady was explaining to the to the director that uh, she called police on me. But I, I'm, I, I wanted to seduce her. I wanted to rape her. Rape? How? 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 As in, where did rape come in? Come into the? That was when I know that uh, if a lady, eh, complain anything of rape to police, police, police can can arrive at your place in two seconds. We say prepare. They don't because she told the police that uh, I, I wanted to escape. You get it. So when the police arrived, they they were asking, you know, how did it happen? So she she was uh, truthful enough. So she has explained everything. And our daughter was like, "This is not enough uh, reason to call police. Why why are you you know?" So our daughter started started uh, reprimanding the the lady. So this is to tell you the level of racism that we experience in this country. You see. A, a racist Oyibo uh, detests even your footprint. A racist Oyibo, they detest even your footprint. Your footprint, they detest it. So my brother, it's not easy. Oh.